Hi there, I'm Teaspoon, and this is Taspoon, the series where I pioneer my own path progressing an old school RuneScape Iron Man account. The goal? To complete the collection log. The catch? I have to do it one randomly generated task at a time. Welcome to Taspoon. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 28 of the Task Moon series. In the last video, we did some beginner clues, got a hill giant club, that was pretty cool. I recommend going and checking that out if you haven't seen that episode. And then we ended by rolling a medium clue task, which I actually have a medium clue already, but I need a blue dehyde body, and I can't exactly make one of those yet, so I might have to go and kill some brutal blue dragons, I think, in order to get one as a drop. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and kill some of these brutal blue dragons. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to go, but if we can just bink a blue dragonite body on like the first one, then we're good to go. Uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, so I don't think this is going to be worth it. Uh, they're just a bit too hard to kill. I'm going through supplies like crazy and getting like two kills, if that, per trip. Uh, if I just get like four, maybe, what is it, 69? Yeah, if I just get like three or four more Herblore levels, I can boost to make anti-fire potions, and then I can just mage them with an anti-fire potion and uh, protect from magic on and be completely immune to all their damage. So... I'm just going to wait on this one. I'm just going to drop the clue. I'm going to try and go get other ones. Uh, I don't have the herbs to... Well, actually... I'd have to do some math on this one. I don't think I have the herbs to get the levels that I would need to do that right now. So I'll need to do some math and come back to you. Oh yeah, and before I do all that, I actually have a medium casket already. So we can just go ahead and open that. Okay, well... Oh hey, didn't see you there. Uh, I've been hard at work doing some herb lore. Uh, I finally used all the herbs I've been farming, and I actually got to 64, which means if I get a plus 5 boost, I can make anti-fire potions. So I'm going to try and do that, make some anti-fires, and then go back to blues with magic. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, as you can see here, I really scraped the bottom of the barrel to get all that XP, which means I can't get to 65, which would be way more convenient, because then I could use these botanical pies to boost. Now I need to go and get a stew boost, which is kind of going to suck, I think. Um, but yeah, I use the botanical pies to use up my cadentines to make some super defenses. Uh, that was a good chunk of XP, and yeah, just barely scraped to 64, so... I'm going to go and collect some blue dragon scales, and then try and get a boost. Oh my god, I got the boost first try. What the heck? I actually got a first try. Oh no, I'm messing up. Uh, 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 don't, don't, don't panic, don't panic. Nice. I, I can't believe I got that first try. I wasn't even recording, because I was like, eh, you know, I only had uh, two four-dose spices in the bank, so I just assumed that, like, there's no way that was going to be enough. Wild. Oh, I don't have bank space. Alright, well, that boost's going to drop. Alright, here I am, back at the Brutal Blue Dragons. Uh, and like I explained last- Jesus. Uh, like I explained last time, uh, with an anti-fire potion and protect from magic, I am completely immune to all of their damage. The magic attacks obviously get protected by the Protect from Magic, and the Potion and Protect from Magic combined is enough anti-fire protection to take zero damage from their and or from their dragon fire. So, as long as I have Protect Magic on and don't forget to use an anti-fire pot every six minutes, I cannot be hit by their damage. So, uh, I was hoping that this would do more damage with Ivan's Blast. Uh, I'm going to test this out. I might end up switching spells if this is a bit too costly, but yeah, this is the plan. We'll see how it goes. All right, well, that wasn't that bad. Uh, I think I'll stay here for a little bit. I don't, again, I don't know how sustainable it'll be, but uh, 
I think I think I'll be okay. My other option is to range them, which uh, could be a very viable option. The only problem is I don't really have any good ammo. Uh, I guess broad arrows are okay, which I could use because I have an anti-fire potion. I don't know. I'll do this for a bit and see how it goes. Uh, I'm pretty sure the blue dehyde van braces are actually more rare than the body. So, I'm sad. Also, I switched to range, and I think it's just faster, and I don't use death runes, so I'm gonna stick with this for now. Alright, I've been killing blue dragons for a while now. Uh, as you can see here, I have 102 hides, which means I've killed 51 blue dragons, because they drop two at a time. And I only have four anti-fire potions left, including the one in my inventory. So, my plan is, I'm just gonna kill... Probably up until the drop rate, which is 1 in 64. So I'm probably going to do, like, three more trips, maybe four more trips. And if I don't get it within that time, uh, I don't really want to use all my anti-fires doing this, because it'd be nice to save some for future stuff. So I might just end up dropping the clue, but at least we tried. Uh, but who knows, maybe I'll get it. Anytime I'm in a situation like this where I need to get an item for a clue step that's sort of, like, RNG-based, uh, I would almost always rather try and get it for that clue, considering any time that I get that clue step in the future, if I drop the clue the first time, then I'm just gonna have to drop it the next time. So, I would really prefer to get the blue dehyde body here, so that for the rest of the medium clue grinds, I just have it. Uh, I don't know, you know, how worth it it is in terms of time investment to try and go for a 1 in 64 drop from a pretty high level monster versus just dropping the clue and going and getting a new one. Like, at this point, it feels like it would have been faster to just drop it, but I would rather get it. Oh, I got the body. I wasn't even recording. Heck yeah. Nice. I was actually about to call it too. That was gonna be my last trip. So yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I forgot that I haven't done Horror from the Deep yet, so I actually can't get into the lighthouse. Um, which is actually good that now I get to do Horror from the Deep, because I can get the God Books. So that's good. A little bit of an unexpected delay, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and do it. And even if I wanted to just do the clue and not do the quest, uh, as you can see when you go through the doorway, this version of the lighthouse is actually an instance version. You can tell because this fairy ring disappears. Uh, so this version actually doesn't work for the clue. So I actually have to complete the quest. So, yeah. And we're done. Nice. Now that I've done Horror from the Deep and I have all the books, I actually have all the pages for the ancient book, the Book of Darkness. So that's kind of cool. Slightly better mage offhand. Nice. Alright, and we finally got the casket from that clue. Uh, it probably hasn't been that long in the video. Actually, now that I look, I have 27 clips recorded. I've <laughs> managed to get a single casket. That's kind of sad. Uh, it's been a while for me. Doing all the herb lore and grinding out those brutal blue dragons, this one casket has taken me a very long time. Uh, now, just a little reminder, uh, i have at 15 uniques, so pretty good chance that any unique I get should be new. Hey, look, ranger boots. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I think for now, I'm going to stack up groups of five, and you'll either see me next time I get a clue that I can't do, that I have to go and do something, and I'll update you on that, or I'll have five caskets and we'll open those. One day I'll have the hunter level for this. Man, how often are you just walking around with your impling net and your jar generator and you see an impling you can catch? I, I don't know if this has ever happened to me before. Nice. And your daily reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get more magpie implings. You too could have a nature tiara. Okay, seriously, I'm finding implings all over the place. This is sick. Oh, I need a jar. Nice! And there we go, the first five caskets. Let's just uh, go ahead and open them. Unlucky. 
And we got another five caskets here. Let me just get to a bank and we'll open them. Uh, yeah, this has been a little bit slow. I don't know why my luck with these eclectics is pretty poor in terms of clues, but either way, let's just go ahead and open them. Uh, okay, that's one. Good, good. Okay, we'll take one. And that was actually my first headband, so now I can do the headband clue. I think that's a hard clue, but yeah, that's nice. Heck yeah, casket number five. I am very tired. I've been doing clues all day, and I wanted to go to bed, but I wanted to open the caskets before I went to bed, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Wow, those were awful. And would you look at that, the blue dehyde body clue again. Very happy that I decided to go and get that. Did you guys ever notice that the Taibo Wanai teleport looks like a little bow tie? The Taibo bow tie? Okay, never mind. And there's another five caskets, finally. These ones took forever just to get and do. I don't know, that, that took a really long time. Uh, let's hope for some unique. Oh, well, uh, that skipped immediately, but there wasn't any. Okay. Um, okay, good. What? Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, what just happened? <laughs> okay, we still need one more. I, I lost track. Sorry. Okay, good, good. Okay, nothing there. Can't complain. Okay, we're done! <laughs> what the heck just happened? I think that was potentially the craziest luck I've got. I mean, the Ranger Boots obviously was crazy, but these are the same rarity as Ranger Boots. And the double banners, the double cloak and headband. I, I mean, I just got five uniques in, in like th four, three clues. Four clues. Uh, that's insane. Okay, nice. Let's let's go get a new task. Also, one really cool thing before we go and roll a new task. Uh, I was actually going to mention this before, but I thought the chances of me getting them were so unlikely there was no point. But apparently, I did. Uh, the spike bandicles are actually now my best boots. They have two more strength bonus than the climbing boots, so I actually get to use them for a bit until I get dragon boots. So that's pretty cool. And we're back in the spreadsheet to complete that task and see what we get to do next. Full red decorative. I think I can just go and buy that because I'm selling back my Castle Wars stuff, so this shouldn't take too long. Oh, apparently my audio wasn't recording there, so that's kind of lame, but uh, the task itself was kind of lame. So we're already done. ta -da! Yay! I was just saying that I know a lot of people sort of said, what's the point in having separate tasks if you're just going to sell back the items for the tickets and buy the other ones? Uh, I didn't make the spreadsheet. I don't really care. I'm not keeping any of these items. My only objective is to have this number go up and eventually get all of them. So, uh, yeah, right now what I think I'm going to do actually is sell back all these pieces and buy every piece that's under uh, however many tickets I have total. I think it's around 87. Um, and then I'll mark them all off on the spreadsheet as done so that we don't actually get any of these tasks in the future because there's really no point. This is just a waste of time. And with all that being said, we can complete that one and get a new task to actually go and do. Back to Tazar's. Okay, I might be able to get a cape back. And after doing what I said I was going to do in the previous clip, you can see I just went ahead and bought all the things that I could. I'm at 29 out of 39. So I'll need to get the full gold armor set and the two banners. The two banners cost 100, and the full gold armor set, well, the most expensive piece costs uh, 800 tickets in the armor. So yeah, eventually I will have to go and AFK a bunch more Castle Wars, but for now, we'll just put that off. And I have gone and marked all the things off on the spreadsheet so we won't get any of the tasks that we've already done. So next time I go to generate a new task, you'll notice that the medium and hard percentage actually have gone up. So that's why that happened. All right, so here we are actually doing the task back at the Tazars. Um, like I said before, I did lose my obby cape, so getting one back would be kind of nice. I know there's a couple uses for it, but uh, 
yeah, pretty much going for the shield or the maul or the discs or the sword or whatever. I don't know. Just going to start killing them. Uh, one of the reasons I'm using magic is I got 7,000 chaos runes. I got my chaos gauntlets back. Just paid the 25k to change the cooking gauntlets. And I kind of wanted to get 82 magic before the medium tier. Uh, the medium tier is when the barrows tasks start coming in. I believe there's uh, bolt racks still left on the easy tier, but all the barrows uniques start on the medium tier. And it would be very nice to have 82 magic for barrows teleports before starting the barrows grind. Uh, I guess I could still boost to make them, like make some tabs or something, but it'd be nice to get my magic level up a bit in line with my other uh, combat stats, so... Gonna start with the magic, see how it goes. Might switch to range if it's a bit slow, but yeah. I just went and did Scorpion Catcher so that I can upgrade my Lava Battle Staff into a Mystic Lava Battle Staff uh, for 40k. It gives like two extra magic bonus. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to do it. Cool. Oh! Okay, well, I got my cape back. Uh, I, 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 was, I was looking away. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> the cape is somewhat useful for me right now. It is slightly better than my uh, Arty Cloak 2 in terms of defense. It doesn't have any prayer, but I, I don't know. It, it does have some uses, and it is used for a master clue, but I need, like... A dragon two hand and Bando's boots, <laughs> so like that's that's way down the line, and I could probably easily get another one at that point. But eh, it's good to have. And now I feel less bad about letting my other one despawn on the ground because I got a new one. Haha. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. What? Well, um. Okay, a third cape! Cool! I think that was RuneScape's way of saying, don't forget these ones on the ground this time, idiot. Well, I used up about half my Chaos Runes. I don't really want to use all of them, because I'd like to keep some for bursting, potentially, in the future. So, I'm going to switch to range for now. I did get a decent amount of magic XP. I've been here for about four hours. I've got about 130k XP, so not too bad. But yeah, I'm going to switch to range. Oh, we got it. Nice. Switch to range, and then I got the range weapon. Sick. I don't think I will ever use these. I don't. I, I can't think of a use for them, to be honest, but cool, we're done. Let's go get a new task. All right, complete that one. Let's see what we got to do. If it's a quick one, we'll do it right now. If it's a longer one, it might have to be put in the next video. Giant's Foundry, I can go do that right now. Let's go. So if we take a look at the Giant's Foundry log, we can see here I've already got the Smithing Catalyst and the Ore Pack, which means I can still technically buy the Grog as a unique item, which costs the least, but what I might actually end up doing is just buying the Double Ammo Mold. I actually have been making some Cannonballs in my AFK time, and that'd be kind of cool. Haven't quite decided yet. We'll see. I'm just going to start making swords. So I did some thinking, and there's actually one more Giant's Foundry task on the easy tier. So I'm going to be able to get the uh, double ammo mold before going on to the medium tier either way. So for now, I'm just going to buy the grog, and we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. That way I can start editing, and we'll still get the double ammo mold before the medium tier, and that way I'll be able to make cannonballs when I edit those videos. So for now... We're done. And we can go ahead, mark that off in the spreadsheet. Getting mighty close to being done with the easy tier. Uh, let's see what we gotta do. Not a lot of options left. Okay, we're going back to Giant's Foundry. I still can't believe the chain of events that led us here. The spiked manacles into the double banner, into the double, uh, what was it, the cloak and the headband. I got my cape back from the Tazars, plus an extra cape. I got my rings. What a cool episode. I'm, I'm very happy with this episode. You should you should leave a like on this episode. This episode is awesome. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. 
hopefully uh, you guys liked the episode as much as I did. And I will see you guys next time.